Welcome to the video. In this video, I'm gonna share the step-by-step -step blueprint on how to attract abundance in 2024. And not sure when the time that you guys are actually watching this video, but right now, today is 6 December, 2023. We have less than 30 days in 2023, and we are about to enter the new chapter, which is 2024. And I believe that everyone wants to every year we set our intention and everyone wants to attract abundance, different career, different path, different relationship. And maybe you will have goals to accomplish. Maybe this year you want to be confident. Maybe this year you want to feel a lot more self-love within yourself. But perhaps you're struggling to establish that. Maybe you're struggling to actually keep consistent on setting intention and all this, the law of attraction manifestation method and end up like just after a couple of months that you feel like, hmm, it's interesting, nothing happened. So this step-by-step -step blueprint that I'm gonna talk about in this video is going to change your life if you follow my instruction. And everything that you come across in your life that you want to learn something new or you learn want to learn something that you might already know for a bit, but you haven't been able to master the craft or the skill that you want to learn, then you have to be open and you have to be really paying attention as if this is something that you you hear for the first time. And literally when I changed the mindset to that, like becoming the best student in the world changed my life. Because I was a very egoistic person. I was like, yeah, I know a lot about attraction. I know this and that. But when I had that mindset, nothing changed in my life. But since I was like, you know what? I haven't mastered any law of attraction. I haven't mastered this and that. I am going to listen like I'm a baby. I'm gonna listen like I don't know anything about it. So I need you really, I need you to really pay attention because what I'm gonna say in this video will change your life. So before we actually get into 2024, I'd like to give you exact step-by-step -step blueprint on how to attract abundance. And abundance is essentially AKA the fulfillment, right? Because happiness equals the feeling of the fulfillment. For example, if you're hungry right now, you want to eat something, right? And then imagine that you, there's beautiful sushi. If you're vegan, consider that a vegan sushi. Imagine this beautiful sushi or whatever your favorite food in, in, a, in a table. The moment that you're like about to eat, like bon appetit, you're feeling so good. And the first bite, oh my God, it's so amazing. Second bite, oh my God. This is the feeling of the fulfillment. However, you finish eating and you're fulfilled, completely fulfilled, you know, spiritually, mentally, physically, you're fulfilled and you're completely full, had a great meal, God bless you. Five hours later, you would feel hungry again. So now you don't feel the exact same way that you ate sushi or whatever your favorite meal you ate five hours before, because happiness and all this fulfillment is essentially come and goes, right? So it just comes when you're hungry, when you feel like there's a lack, and once you filled it up, whatever it is, whatever it is, you know, could be like company. Maybe you feel lonely, or somebody just comes to you, you know, spend a couple, couple hours with you, you know, have a quality time with your best friend or family or whatever, and then you're fulfilled. Life isn't linear, right? It's not a straight line. So when you feel good, sometimes you feel lonely. When you feel hungry, no. When you feel fulfilled, sometimes you're hungry. So it's just a cycle of like going through all these. Fulfill, feeling fulfilled, but feeling a bit of luck in your life. And I'm pretty sure that you resonate with that. The difference between people who's always in abundant mindset, who is always in a fulfilled feeling and really happy most of the time, and in people who's not, is essentially the amount of the fulfillment that you have in a daily basis. So for instance, I'm, I'm fulfilled daily basis. That doesn't mean that I have everything that I want. But how can I feel content and happy and fulfilled on a daily basis, on an occasional basis? It's very, very simple. And this is the first step that you need to take and in practice. Everything that I'm going to give you today in this video will be step-by-step -step guide blueprint. But it's not something like just boom. You spell the magic for once and then your life is completely fulfilled and afterwards. It's not like that. You have to practice the magic every single day, many times, as many times as you can every day. So consider that every step of the blueprint that I'm gonna give you today is a practice. 
So the first step is that finding, you have to be good at finding these fulfilling moment. Happiness is not the destination of your life. Happiness is never be the goal or purpose of your life. Happiness is actually something that you can find everywhere, right? I have phone, I'm happy. Why do I feel happy having phone? Because I appreciate it. So essentially finding a fulfillment is appreciating that whatever you have in the current moment, whatever you encounter in the present moment. So when you are about to eat, you're essentially grateful. Maybe you don't actually express that, but you unconsciously are grateful because, wow, I'm, I'm so thankful for food. So whenever you're fulfilled and whenever you're happy, you are grateful. So if we spread that equation, then we just have to flip it and go backwards. Find something that we want to appreciate consciously. I want to appreciate my phone, I want to appreciate my camera, I want to appreciate this beautiful view and then actually get to shoot a video in front of the beach. And I'm grateful. I'm just looking at this beautiful view and I'm grateful. Because essentially, the more you're fulfilled emotionally, your thought process are more optimistic and positive. And then imagine that you're thinking and you're operating as an individual and as a spirit, as an each cell and an energetic level, you operate on optimistic and a positive way, then you are tapping into these frequencies. On the other hand, it's easy to just fall into this trap of thinking negative and thinking pessimistic because sure, the world is chaos. We don't have a lot of things that we, we want. You know, it's easy to focus on these things that we don't have or things that we hate. And especially if you are in a, a little bit of a tough, tough situation right now in this present moment or the last couple of months, then it's hard for you to focus on the other side of the coin. But again, this is a practice. So you have to bring yourself up to at least finding paying attention to the positive things and things that you want to appreciate because gratitude is the magic. The more you appreciate, the things that you want to appreciate comes into your life. So law of attraction is just a cycle of you know, constant fulfillment and realizing those small things that you want to appreciate by expressing the gratitude. However, the next step for you is to really set intention and have a crystal clear vision because you have to have the vision. You have to understand, like in a spiritual level, you have to understand that this is what I want. You have to bend your reality by creating the vision. And then even if your direction is going that way, if your vision is that way, then you need to bend your reality and hop on in a different direction, or you just change the direction, bend the reality and go in towards a different direction. How do you do that? There's the three important keys in this video, on this blueprint, is your emotion, your thoughts, and your action. And this is essentially what makes you who you are as a person, also as a personality. So for your personality, you need to change these three things, your emotion, your, your thoughts, and your behavior. So the how you behave, how you, how you feel, and how you think has to be completely shifted as if you change your identity, as if you change your personality. You have to operate a completely different way as an individual. And then you have a lot of limiting beliefs and a lot of pattern, negative, positive, or coming from your trauma, coming from your past, uh, last couple of years, past experiences. There's a lot of things that are already established. You're completely programmed in a certain way. You're, there's a lot of societal condition that is programmed in your mind as well, because there's things that you believe based on where you live, based on the culture, based on the skin color, ethnicity, and all that. So the first, you need to be aware of those. You need to be aware of those, the program, and then all these conditions that you programmed yourself the last couple of years, decade, two decades. And be able to shift your personality. Like imagine that you change a character in a video game. Like now you are this character, but now you want to play the different character. But you're just still the main character in your life and in this journey. So you just change your character like that. Yes, you can do it. All you need is identify how you want to feel, how you want to think, and how you want to behave as an individual. So here's a tip. If you have somebody that you want to copy, if you have somebody that you want to model, like, yeah, I look up this, I respect and look up this person. 
then watch that person, how they think and how they behave, even the words that they use. Copy and then learn how to operate. There's a beautiful saying from the Zen master, uh, Ikkyo Miyazaki, and he passed away a couple of years ago. He was the one of the you know, huge Zen master in Japan and he, he, was, he had been meditating for over 19 years, 90 years and you know he passed away and another point it was over 90 years meditation every single day that's insane and what he was saying is that learning is a copy if you learn one day it's a one day of learning but if you learn or if you copy for your lifetime somebody else then it's called mastering so what we need to do is to literally just copy somebody that you respect and you look up to somebody who's very positive and optimistic and they lift you up and they motivate you. Don't copy somebody who's just like a piece of shit. Don't copy somebody just lazy motherfuckers because that's not gonna help you, okay? Even if it seems like their, their, li their life is better than yours, I don't care. If you copy these people, then you will get exactly the same thing that what they're struggling internally. Maybe you don't see it on social media, but you will experience it by yourself once you start copying these people. For you to be crystal clear on these three aspects is to just identify and going through your internal work and then ask yourself a bunch of questions. And now I need you to establish this new way of who you are. New way of feeling, new way of thinking, new way of behaving. And I need you to be crystal clear on this new way of how you function, how you are as an individual. And this is the third element that is the most important aspect in this video. So make sure you stay until the end. So the last step is to reduce the stress as much as you can. Because first, if you can do this the first, second, first two steps, then the only thing you need is that whatever in your life that stress you out, frustrate you, you have to reduce that stress and anxiety and all this bullshit to zero. I know it sounds fucking crazy. And obviously, if you live a normal life, then there will be a stress from work, there's stress from partner, there's stress from family. But my point is, you have to reduce that as much as you can to zero. There's a few ways that you can approach to this. One is to literally just isolate yourself. So when you isolate yourself from dramas and a bullshit and then the people just stress you out constantly, then you instantaneously reduce the stress because you don't deal with these people. However, sometimes that's not the case because you go to work, people are there, it's annoying. So the second approach is to change the interpretation as much as you can. What I mean by that is change whatever they do, just change it. You, we are not different, we are a different person. They're just, that's who they are. They're annoying and that's who they are. Sometimes it's hard for us to just forgive, accept, you know, on a daily basis, it's not easy. So what you need to do is to just simply different, separate yourself and how your, your moral, your value and with the person. So whatever they do to you or whatever they say, it's annoying, frustrating, stress. Then you separate the idea of who you are and what you value, what you think this is beautiful, what you think this is kindness with those people. So what happens is that you don't associate with your belief in other people. When we get stressed, especially from other people, because this is coming from a belief system, we believe this is kindness, believe that we should support people, we should be kind to others. But obviously these people don't do that. So it challenges the beliefs and that frustrates us. So we're gonna separate our belief and an idea with these people consciously, and then that reduces your anxiety and stress from people quite significantly. The third way to approach this is to really brainwash yourself with this abundant positive mindset. And I know it's easy to be said, but my point is, for example, I have a friend and who's just constantly tapping into that. And then, you know, she's going through tough, tough times. She's going through, you know, difficult things, but she always managed to bring back to tap into the abundance. And how does she tap into that is to understand the more you are in this joyful, happy, vibrational frequency, 
you attract much more without doing nothing. And this is the power of law of attraction because essentially you don't have to do anything if it's the energetic work because your energy is working and determining everything, right? So essentially your action is part of your energy. So what happens is when your energy is completely aligned, things will happen naturally, organically, and then you act naturally, accordingly, without fo focusing yourself to do things. But obviously there will be a times and opportunities that requires your action. But if you're just constantly stressed and stressed and like, oh, I want to attract and I want to attract, that's, that's not going to work. And 90% of the people is doing that way. That's why they're just not attracting. They maybe, you know, manifest the uh, parking lot when they're like, I want to manifest a parking lot. There you go. Those are easy to manifest. But when it comes to the abundance, the things that you want, things that you want to accomplish, the opportunities and stuff like that, it's difficult because you have to manipulate the bigger energy. And how do you do that? The more tap into the joyful happiness, those vibrational frequency, rationally understand it. And for female, it's a little bit maybe difficult because you guys are more emotional, but male, we think of a logical, rational manner. Even if things are stressful, you don't give a shit. Just simply don't give a single fuck. That's it. That's it. You just reduce the stress that you create by yourself in your mind. And I know some people are like, yeah, that's difficult. If you believe it's difficult, it's difficult. For me, it's easy. Why? Because I believe it's easy. So I just tap into the joy, happiness, love. That's all we need. Again, if you, if you keep believing that it's difficult, then it is difficult. You know, the reason why my YouTube didn't grow as fast as other Instagram and TikTok, I have 1.4 million followers on TikTok. I have 800,000 followers on Instagram. Not to brag, but the YouTube, I only have 180,000 subscribers, which is very low compared to the other two platforms. Why? Because I believe that YouTube is difficult. YouTube is difficult. I don't know why, but it's different. I feel like I master a certain level of Instagram and TikTok, which the number shows. But the YouTube, I have been feeling this is difficult. It's not working very well for me. And I kept believing that shit. Now I get rid of that. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna grow. But my point is, the more you believe what is difficult, what is easy, that's exactly what you're gonna show you. So you have to also brainwash yourself that this is not difficult. For me to reduce the stress, it's easy. I can do this. I got this, it's easy. And of course, whatever you try, everything in you is uncomfortable. Everything in you it doesn't feel natural, okay? That's, that's basically the fast obstacle that you want to go beyond. How do you do that? You can just being consistent about it, but dedicate yourself to just like constantly brainwash yourself that this is easy. I'm joyful, I'm happy, and then you need to say these words 24 seven in your dream as well. Why? Because your voice is a vibration frequency. If the life is the movie, then your voice is the music. Your voice is very, very important because it shakes up your skull. So you have to say those words. You have to say those words. Mean it as much as you can. Mean it as much as you can. Then what happens is you start to bend your reality. And I can guarantee you, if you do this every single day, 24-7, 100 times or 200 times a day, because we have about 60,000 thoughts per day. Most of them are random, right? So if you can focus 1,000 thoughts, 2,000 thoughts, Dominate your thoughts with this, I'm joyful, I'm happy. Things are easy coming. Not just like once a day in the morning you do the affirmation, but just constantly brainwash yourself. So whatever you do in your day or whatever you encounter, you want to quickly interpret in a different way, think rationally and think logically what benefits you. Which way does it benefit you to feel stressed or to feel just joy? And as I explained in the first step, the reason why it's so crucial for you to find all these things that you want to express gratitude is because that easily bring your vibration frequency to higher. And there's a three practice that I can suggest to do every single day, as many as you can, is one is affirmation, two is journaling, and then three is meditation. 
An affirmation, you want to repeat, repeat five times each affirmation and you can do that not just only one in the morning but you can do it multiple times in your day. For example, I'm worthy to receive XYZ. I am confident, I'm attractive, I'm abundant, I have this and that. Whatever you want to utilize, the affirmation should be very, very simple. Don't use this affirmation of like complicated, like spiritual universe in a line and harmony and then blah, blah, blah. Don't do that. Make it simple, make it clear. The sentence should be easy, simple, clear. Okay, and then use that affirmation. When you say affirmation, you have to convince yourself. Don't read affirmation like reading a book. Say affirmations like you're convincing yourself this is literally truth. And there's nothing else that I believe, but this affirmation is the only truth that I believe. And the journaling, a lot of people journal randomly, negatively. Don't write negative shit, don't write random shit. Write only things that you want and write experience. Don't write how you achieve this, how you get this. How does it matter? When and how does it matter? It's irrelevant. So what you wanna write in your journal every single day is something you wanna uh, manifest. For instance, if I want to achieve one million subscribers on YouTube, then this is what I'm gonna write. I am so happy and grateful for 1 million subscribers. I make viral videos all the time. People love my videos. I get a lot of comments, I get a lot of likes, and I enjoy making content, a lot of ideas coming through, and I am be consistent, and my YouTube just keep growing and keep growing better and better. So what I write is experience. I don't write like, I will make a video that talks about law of attraction that's gonna go viral. How to doesn't matter, how is, irrelevant and a meditation is use my guided meditation i have a specific meditation which is called active meditation that i literally reprogram your mind with this meditation so you can find that link in the description you can go from that meditation you can go from the link and to literally reprogram your mind that attract different reality different things your desires and everything or every opportunity into your life and if you do this step-by-step -step blueprint, as I said, this is exactly what I do, this is exactly what my community does. And then people changing their lives, people bending their realities. And if it works for me, if it works for these people, then it works for you as well. So I know that you can do it. You have to practice each thing that I mentioned in this video because treat them as a practice. And I guarantee your life will be completely different in six months. So get ready for 2024, your life is about to change. Claim in the comment if you feel that. Also, I have a great news for you. Now I have a only few spots left open for my coaching program, Leave You Like a Movie, which is gonna teach you exactly every step of the way for how to establish confidence and self-love that raise your vibrant frequency and attract different reality and then how to eliminate your limiting beliefs, how to stop overthinking and how to literally just change your mind, change your personality, change your reality. So if you're ready to commit, if you're ready to change your life for 2024, then apply for coaching from the link in the comment that I'm gonna comment and pin it. So I really, really looking forward to see you in my coaching. All right, with that said, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Live your life like a movie.